Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week asks you to find and classify the fixed points for the following uh, system, for the following differential equation, so time-dependent differential equation, as you can see. And then the problem also asks you to graph a phase plane or phase plot for the system. So in case you're not familiar with this, the dot notation is just a derivative with respect to time. So we have the time derivative of theta is equal to sine theta plus cosine theta. So as we can see, um, this is just going to be a one-dimensional flow on a circle. Uh, so things like this, things of this kind, are also used, would also be used to model something like the, um, you, could, you could have it model like the superconducting Josephson junction, junction or even things in biology, such as like fireflies, um, the blinking of fireflies, which is pretty cool, but this is just a pretty simple problem. And so we're going to start by finding the fixed points, and the fixed points occur at areas where theta dot um, is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to set theta dot equal to zero. So we have zero equals sine theta plus cosine theta. So we can just subtract off the sine theta from both sides. We have negative sine theta is equal to cosine theta. Or I guess here we, have, we would have uh, theta star. Just for consistency of notation, we can have theta star because theta star are going to be our fixed points. It doesn't change anything here. So we have negative sine theta star is equal to cosine theta star. So we need to find points theta such that this equation here is satisfied. And if we think about it, so this is usually what I would do is I would just sketch, okay, so if we visualize on the unit circle here where, where first of all, where the sine and cosine theta are going to be equal. So sine and cosine theta are going to be equal at pi over 4. Um, so pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. And then here, down in the uh, lower quadrant here, in the, yeah, in, in the lower hemisphere here, there are also going to be two locations. But where are the signs opposite, such that negative sine theta is equal to cosine theta? So those are actually going to occur just here and just here. Because here, the sine and cosine are both going to be positive, And here, sine and cosine are just going to be both going to be negative. So OK, so these are going to be our two solutions. So they're going to be 3 pi over 4, which you can really express as 3 pi over 4 plus k pi over n, which I'll get to later. So here we can write the solutions to this. Because here our system is 2 pi periodic, which means you know, because we have a flow in a circle, every 2 pi, the, systems, um, the, the solutions to the system will kind of repeat themselves in a periodic manner, um, which is why this is defined as a one-dimensional flow on a circle. So all of the fixed points theta star can be classified in the following set. So we would have 3 pi over 4, which as you can see is just our point here along the unit circle, plus, k pi, oh, plus pi k, uh, yep, plus pi k, such that um, k is some integer. OK, so what does this set mean? So first of all, OK, so 3 pi over 4, as I said before, is just going to be this here. We have some plus we have some integer times pi. So some integer times pi, that's just going to be here, 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 and on and on throughout the integers. So we need to classify, now we have the set of fixed points, so we need to classify the stability of the fixed points. It'll be, it'll be easiest to do this by just graphing it on the one-dimensional circle and then plotting a couple points to see what direction our flow is in. OK, so we can visualize this on a circle here. So we have a fit. Graph first our fixed points. I'm going to plot our fixed points here. Fixed point at 3 pi over 4, and then one down here as well. OK, so you can imagine the little axes going through here. So we need to plot, we need to check the stability of the fixed points. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this point here and this point here and see if we get a positive or negative pi dot, uh, theta dot. OK, so when theta is equal to OK, let me just write this down here. OK, so when theta is equal to 0, or 2 pi, et cetera, then theta dot is going to be equal to, OK, so when theta is 0, sine theta is going to be 0. And when theta is 0, cosine theta is going to be 1. So we have theta dot is equal to 1, which is greater than 0. So we have a positive flow here. So we can just draw little arrows up here, noting that we have a positive flow. So we're just going to 
all we need now is to plug in one more point to, to test for uh, stability. And an easy point over here would just be um, pi. OK, so when theta is equal to pi, we have theta dot being equal to. So going up here, when theta is equal to pi, uh, sine of pi is going to be 0, and cosine of pi is going to be negative 1. So we have uh, negative 1, which is less than 0. So we know that we have our flow here going up in this direction. So we see that our flow is going up and away. So this point is going to be unstable here, or a uh, source, because all of the flow is flowing away on this vector field. And this is going to be a sink, or a stable fixed point, because the flow is flowing all toward that. So now we're going to modify this set of fixed points here, such that it um, accounts for the stability or instability of our fixed points. So I'm going to go ahead and break the set here into two subsets, a subset of, fi of stable fixed points and a subset of unstable fixed points. So we know, in fact, that theta star set of fixed points is going to be equal to 3 pi over 4 plus pi k, same thing. But here, we have k is even or equal to 0. So when k is even or equal to 0, we're going to end up on this fixed point here, so they're all going to be stable. So this subset of fixed points is stable. So now all we have here, the remaining fixed points are going to be unstable. So we can see here when theta star is equal to 3, uh, 3 pi over 4 plus pi k, when k is odd, here, all these fixed points are going to end up here, because we're um, 2 pi periodic here. And all these are going to be, in fact, unstable. OK, so great. We have identified and qualified the stability of all of our fixed points for the system. So now all that we have to do is plot a phase plane or phase plot for our system. So I'll go ahead and erase this here. Leave our diagram over there remaining. OK, so when we plot a phase plane, we're going to plot theta against theta dot. So we'll just draw here. So on what would normally be the x-axis, we're going to have theta. And our dependent vari variable here, where we would normally have y, is going to be theta dot. So we're going to go ahead and plot theta dot is equal to sine theta plus cosine theta. So an easy way to do this would be to just plug it into your calculator. Alternatively, you could plug in points and then plot them. So for us here, our graph is going to look something like this. So we're going to go ahead and first plot all of our fixed points, which we already know. So say we have here, this is this would be pi over 2. This is line every pi over 2 here. Uh, we would have a fixed point at, or here, yeah, uh, 3 pi over 4, just kind of eyeballing it, 7 pi over 4. So here we could say it's 3 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. And we know that's really all we need to know because we can keep plotting every pi away. We can keep plotting another point. And we know that the 3 pi over 4 and all of the multiples of 2 pi of that are going to be stable, which means that here we're going to have the negative slope going through this fixed point. So it's going to look something like this positive slope, negative slope, and so on and so forth. And it can go on through here. And we know that this fixed point here, um, another way I've seen this graphically is that we have our flow going down here, through here, down here, up through here. So this, we can see here, this fixed point is unstable, and this one is stable, and so on and so forth. So this is going to be our phase plot for our system, which is given here. So for, that's all for this week's Problem of the Week. But, um, for to see more Problem of the Week videos, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click on this link here. And to visit us at thecenterofmath.org, you can click on this link down here. Thank you for watching.